You know the junkyard here, right? Well, it's where autos end up when they ought to, but can't auto. <laughs> Washing machines that can't wash anymore because their owners didn't take care of them. You're the owner of a machine, too, your body machine. And what you put into your body can make you feel good or bad. There's one professor of foodology who's really smart about food. You know who? Hey, 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 Fred Albert. Hey, 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 Mr. Cosby. Hello, everybody. You know what this is? A crisp carrot. It tastes good. I happen to be an expert on food, as you can see. Now, this carrot is part of what I'm going to tell you about food allergy. It happened a few weeks ago. And it all began in the junkyard when Dumb Donald came running in with some big news. <gasps> gangway! Gangway! Everybody! Everybody! Gangway! Did you hear? I mean, did you hear a nutrition expert is coming to, to our school? Nutrition? What's wrong with all nutrition? <laughs> Hold it. Nutrition is all about food and what it does for our bodies. Aha, uh -huh. that explains how all these mighty muscles happen. Aha. <laughs> I've seen more muscles on a soggy noodle. <laughs> Very funny. Cool it, you two. You know what nutrients are? Ha! Who? Do we know? What a question. Do we know? Do you? No. no. Nutrients are the stuff we get from food that we need for energy, growing, and all kinds of good things. Good nutrition's real important. I'll tell you what else is real important. It's time for the Brown Pony! Wow. It's not a bird. It's not a bee. It's the Brown Pony! Week, we find the brown hornet returning from a mercy mission when suddenly he comes upon a bright yellow craft rocketing wildly about the space turnpike. Have you ever seen such wild driving? <laughs> I'd better do something about it. Mr. How did you ever pass your space driving test? Your asteroid driving license, please. So, your name is Drip Dip? Uh, yes. You all right? No, I don't feel well. Uh -huh. What's this? Sweet and sour space oil. Chocolate-covered Cosmo crud. Gooey galaxy goo. Sugared satellite sludge. No wonder you don't feel well. Look what you've been gulping. Junk fuel. You'll never feel your best if all you take is junk fuel. It's vital to have all the basic nutrients. Nutrients? Correct. In the human body, vitamins, minerals, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and water are the fuels that make us go. Robots, too, need the right fuel to make them function properly. I sure could use something. Okay, but remember, no one fuel or food contains all the nutrients. 
which is why we need variety in our diet. Makes sense. Now, go home and read this. I shall check on you in a few weeks to see how you are progressing. <laughs> The brown hornet ship is flying through space, but, but, but now there's snow and, and ice on the satellites and everything. That's to show that a few weeks have gone by. It's good to see you again, Drip Dip. I must say, you look fit. And I feel great, too. What you said about right fuel did it. Right fuels or right foods, they'll do it every time. We're being attacked. Oh no, one of the worst threats in the entire universe. A shooting star. What are we waiting for? Up them, up them. Drip dip and, and for the brown hornet. Wee hee! Drip dip, we made it. Thanks for your help. Thank you, Mr. Hornet. If you hadn't taught me about eating right, I would have been nothing but tin and bones by now. <laughs> tin and bones. That is a good one. Ha! 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 Woo! Wow! Oh, yeah! Right. Woo! Hey, hey, hey. How about the brown hornet and drip dip? Pow, pow. Okay, gang, now it's time to start our game. say Ronnie, you mean Droopy. She's the only one I know who sleeps standing up. <laughs> Rudy, you remind me of a fire drill at school. Fire drill? Yeah, no class. <laughs> Hi, Ronnie. Maria, why don't you get in our game? I'd like to, but I've got to run an errand for my mom. Okay, as soon as I finish these marshmallow-covered chips. Marshmallow-covered chips? Ugh! Come on, Ronnie, the school bell's gonna ring in a minute. Well, okay. I got it, I got it! Oh, I should have had that one. I've gotta hand it to Droopy. <laughs> and that's the only way she'll get her hands on the ball. <laughs> Hey, 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 no more time to play. Good morning, class. I'm Miss Tanika, and I'm going to talk to you about nutrition. Don't let the word nutrition frighten you. Who knows what nutrition means? It means putting the right foods into our bodies each day for better health. Eating right can make you feel good, too. Right. Now, do you know what right food means? I don't know, but it sounds pretty square to me. <laughs> Anything square about these? They look pretty round to me. <laughs> All good health asks of us is that we become more aware of what we eat. Make the right choice. You take foods like fruits and vegetables and balance them with foods like milk and yogurt, chicken and meat, cereals and whole grain breads. The right foods and they all balance. Let's examine them. Milk and milk products. Can you tell us four things that have milk in them? Uh, cheese, ice cream, and uh, <laughs> two cows. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Yogurt and buttermilk are also part of the milk and cheese group. These are rich in calcium to help our bones and teeth grow and stay strong. Now the next thing is protein food. 
They include fish and chicken, veal, beef, lamb, pork, liver, kidney. Dry beans and lentils are also a valuable source of protein. So are eggs and nuts. If you want nuts, Miss Tanika, you come to the right class. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can sit down now. Now, back to balance. Vegetables and fruits are also vital for the vitamins and minerals. These include tomatoes, green beans, bananas, apples, and pumpkins. Yes? Speaking of pumpkins, how about Fat Albert? <laughs> cool it, Rudy, or I'll squash you. That's very good, Albert. Squash is another good one. Breads and cereals that are whole grain enriched or restored such as rolls, macaroni, noodles, rice and oats, cheese and other dairy products, chicken, fish and other meats, fruits and vegetables, cereals and other whole grains. Well, I think I've given you enough to digest for one day. <laughs> These are the kinds of foods we must have every day. Think before you eat. All right, class dismissed. Hey, hey. Miss Danica, I have a question. Yes, Albert. Well, one of the kids here in school is, she's, you know, well, always sort of tired, you know, droopy. And you want to help her? I sure do. Well, Albert, tell her a good breakfast is a most important way to start the day. She should choose a variety of foods, like the ones we talked about today. That means at breakfast as well as the rest of the day. If your friend does this, she'll become more alert, less tired and less droopy. Here are some tips on good eating habits. Give it to your friend. Thank you. Oh, Albert. Why not keep one for yourself? It won't hurt. Ronnie, Maria, hold up. Want some marshmallow-covered chips? No, thanks. And you shouldn't eat it. We had a nutrition expert speak to us today. And this tells what to eat for good nutrition and all. We need a variety of good foods to make our bodies go. Look, today the Brown Hornet told us all about junk fuel, you know. Well, um, food is fuel, too. You mean like chicken, fish, beans, and lentils? That's it, Maria. Plus, you have um, uh, dairy products, you got some uh, fresh fruit, and um, vegetables, whole grain cereals. It's all a matter of balance, like this. Now, how about giving good nutrition a try? Would you do that? Well, I, I sure don't like feeling droopy, much less being called droopy. What do you think, Maria? I say yes. How do we start? Like this. <laughs> Ronnie and Maria gave it a really good try, and a few weeks later, well, here's what happened. What's that you're eating? Licorice-coated jelly donut. Mmm. Plus a coconut custard waffle, all day sucker, and a caramel jawbreaker for dessert. Why, why, why don't you try switching this good old school lunch, man? You, your diet, it just don't balance. Wrong, man. Look how nicely they balance. <laughs> now, that's what I call an unbalanced diet. Balance means some fruit and fresh vegetables, along with chicken or fish. Maria, why don't you relax and get some enjoyment out of life? That's exactly what she's doing. Me too. I never enjoy myself more. Fat Albert's right, Rudy. I've been feeling much better since I started eating healthy foods. You mean no more droopy? Huh. This I gotta see. I think you will. Anyway, it's time for our game. You mean it's time for you to lose? You really think you're gonna win? Absolutely sure. Sure enough to give up your junk food if we beat you? You bet. Oh, 
you apple crunchers. Give up? No way. We're just warming up. Let's turn on the steam. As Fat Albert says, hey, 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 watch old Ronnie play. <laughs> okay, you celery chompers. You asked for it. Here comes Rudy. Here's one from the old carrot chomper. <laughs> Get with it, you dudes. This is a game point coming up. The winner of this one takes it all. We gotta win. Mine, mine! You'll never get that. We win! Not yet, you don't. We, we win! win. <laughs> Wrong. You haven't lost. You get a balanced diet, and you come out a winner. A real winner. Well, Albert, I see you've added another good eating habit. Notice a healthful, crisp carrot. My favorite snack. <laughs> I never knew how good fresh vegetables could taste. Ugh. What in the world is Rudy doing? I had a bet with him. The loser had to push a pumpkin all the way from the clubhouse to here. And we won. We sure did. <laughs> Nobody droopy on our team. Oh, that's right. I just wish everybody knew how important good eating is. You can help by telling all your friends about it. Why don't you tell them, Miss Tanaka? There they are. Good idea. I will. All of you out there, we all like sweets now and then, but not instead of the food, the fuel our bodies really need. All good health asks of us is that we become more aware of what we eat. Make the right choice. You take foods like fruits and vegetables and milk and yogurt and balance them with foods like chicken, and meat, cereals, and whole grain breads. The right foods and they all balance. If you want to look better and feel better, think before you eat. That's right, it's that simple. Think before you eat. Well, that's our story. I wanted you to know how important it was about the good nutrition, you know, and the exercise and enough rest and all. It'll put you on the winning team. It's important to us. So important, we made up a name for it, Foodology. And what it means is, think before you eat, Foodology. Why don't you give it a try? <laughs> now you're all Foodology experts because you learned what to do and not to do. Don't forget to tell your parents about good eating habits too. Nobody's too old to become a Foodology professor, not even Coming your way. Oh, hey, 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 I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Not only Fat Albert, but all the Cosby kids. And Bill Cosby, too. Enjoy the adventures of Fat Albert, including brand new episodes. Hey, 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 that's okay. Here's something to cheer about. 
Hey, 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 Fat Albert every day. With all the Cosby Kids fun, including brand new adventures. Hey, 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 shoot one my way. Boy, this is fun. And full of surprises. Man, that was great. And the great news is that you can tune in Fat Albert Monday through Friday and catch up on what the Cosby Kids are up to. Bill Cosby's The Adventures of Fat Albert. The great thing about Fat Albert is you can have lots of fun watching it. And you can find out good things about everything.